Syndication is a way for you to get your content seen on as many devices and in as many places as possible. Syndication is made possible by technologies such as RSS and Atom. They allow you to easily publish your content to services on the internet called aggregators, which people use to search for a generic term and get lots of related content about said term. In order for you to be included in that content, you have to push your content to these aggregators. WordPress makes this easy for us, both with its built-in RSS feeds and third-party plugins which will let us customize our feed and its aggregation. WordPress can also push our feed updates to a list of standard services called pingback services, which tells common aggregators that our feed is updated. This takes a ton of work off our shoulders and allows us to reach the multitude of people who use web apps and mobile apps to follow the websites that they like. RSS feeds, from the reader point of view, are a convenience and we like making our content convenient. WordPress includes support for both RSS and Atom feeds, which are both syndication standards. By default, your RSS feed is located at yourdomain.com slash feed, and your Atom feed is at yourdomain.com slash feed slash Atom. Readers can easily find your feed by clicking the RSS button found in menu themes headers. For page lines, the button is found at the top right. If your theme does not include a button, you may want to consider enabling the RSS links widget from Jetpack or the default meta widget. Those will provide links to your RSS feeds in your sidebar. There are a few feeds that WordPress provides. The main content feed, comments, category, tag, and authors. Most people simply subscribe to the main content feed, but they do have the option of subscribing to the others as well. For the most part, Syndication takes care of itself. However, there are some third-party syndication solutions that many people like to use because they have some features that WordPress does not. FeedBurner is one popular RSS syndicate that offers good statistics and free RSS to email service which will send your RSS feed to subscribers via email. Plus, with FeedBurner, you can integrate Google's AdSense monetization avenue very easily so you can monetize not only your website, but your RSS feeds as well. You can accomplish many of the things that FeedBurner does through the use of plugins, but using FeedBurner and similar services takes that load off your server and alleviates you from having to find those plugins, configure them, and keep them updated. How you handle syndication is largely a matter of personal choice. From the reader's perspective, it will all basically be the same content but the solution you choose will dictate what features you will have when it comes to customizing the feed and viewing statistics regarding your feed's use. In our next video, we're going to look at incorporating external feeds into your own site's content. This will boost your site's content and give your readers more to read, so when you're not able to post as much as you'd like, you're still going to have some content for your readers.